We are in Canada. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> we're at uh, Epcot. <laughs> we're going from country to country. So if you can't afford uh, to go to Canada for real, come to Florida and uh, visit Canada. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe because we've got a lot of countries to go through. Check out these uh, amazing displays. This is part of the Flower and Garden Festival. This is a really nice Captain Hook. It's just crazy. Hi. We've made it to England. And one of the neat things about this, we're in Epcot, by the way, are these phone booths. Because if you're into Legos, Lego has a Lego set of one of these. That is going to be a new, incredible set. But here we are at Epcot, just kind of wandering around from country to country. We're on our way to the new, uh, what's the what's the name of the ride we're going to? Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. It's a new ride here. All right, let's just keep walking. we got to go get in a line that's two hours long. We are back here in the, the France section in beautiful Paris in the back of Epcot to ride a new ride. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. All right, please subscribe, give this video a like. This has about a two hour wait. I bet you're glad you don't have to wait for two hours to watch this video. This is a walking tour around at Epcot. We're gonna be starting here with Paris, France. France is uh, now known for the Brandy Ride, Remy's uh, Ratatouille uh, Ride. It just opened not too long ago. They have some of the best crepes. It's a beautiful day at Epcot. I just got a drink right there that I thought was going to be a little more uh, orangey, but it was a, uh, uh, a little uh, <laughs> a little tart. It was a grapefruit drink. I think it was all grapefruit. Uh, it's still really good. This is Monaco. It's neat how you can go from world to world and you become immersed into the architecture. This is the International Flower and Garden Show going on right now. There are sculptures throughout. Everything on them is living. It's some kind of a plant or a flower being used. Something really neat up here is Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a newer ride. And what's neat, they've painted it first, it's massive. They've painted it a blue color that is so perfect. It's trying to match the sky, you don't even hardly notice it's there. All right, let's continue walking. The next country up ahead is Japan. Lots of Japanese dolls. Mickey Mouse ice cream. Yeah. 
one thing that each country is known for are one or two restaurants, very oh, authentic. Most of the people working in each of these countries uh, also speaks their native language. Uh, we just tried to ride their new Ratatouille ride, Remy's Ratatouille ride, and after we've been in line for about 30 minutes, it closed, and it was hard to uh, understand they were announcing it was closed because they're all from Paris. And their French ac accent was pretty strong. Just kind of adds to the excitement. So back in Japan, there's this koi pond. You know, the landscaping throughout all of the Disney parks is unbelievable. The attention to detail. Our destination is Mexico. We have a lot of countries to walk around. We're gonna be going all the way up there to Mexico because there's a, a fun ride inside that pyramid. So that is our destination. We're excited to see the new fireworks show. It comes off that huge platform. We've made it up to the center point back here in the middle of all the nations. This is the United States. Got the American Adventure. This is a really neat show if you want something really fun to do. Ah, the Smokehouse Restaurant. If you ever come here at Christmas, I mean, they do concerts all the time here, but during Christmas, they'll bring in choirs while performing Christmas songs. Um, a few years ago, we came here and a, a choir sang with Ariel. Uh, that was outstanding. We're leaving the United States. Look at the beautiful architecture. So welcome to Italy. There's pizza back there and some fantastic Italian restaurants in here.
this is a restaurant. You know, some of these restaurants are not cheap, but they are very high end. They are fantastic. Yeah, Italy is wonderful. Oh, look at the trains. Good to meet you. What a train set. Oh, that's a pretty train. So neat. A lot of trains in here. All right, let's continue walking. Something fascinating, the architecture of each nation is so unique and how Disney has captured that in just a small sampling, making them so recognizable. As you walk up, you know exactly which country it is. And the costumes of each cast member, just walk up in here a little bit. You got the beer garden restaurant. Of course, there are gift shops in every country and coming off of every ride. Ooh, it's a Christmas store. Let's go in here. Universal Studios has a Christmas store that's really nice in both of their parks. Of course, Disney has uh, numerous Christmas ornaments. The biggest probably at uh, uh, Disney Springs. These are all glass. We have lots of nutcrackers. What a neat store. Man, that's not heavy. It's glass? Aren't they all glass? No. It's metal. That's metal? Uh -huh. How much is that? Uh, 30. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, this is metal. Oh, a little gingerbread house. Oh, 
Oh, that's neat. Germany and let's head on to the next country caramel treats those look to be pretty popular today So this area is just the outpost. China is coming up. China is really pretty magnificent in how they've designed it. This is the bridge that they raised when they did everything over here. Like when they bring the barges out with all the pirates on them. Oh. Ah. But yeah, they've got lights down there. Yeah, that's how they bring the barges out to build the uh, stage for the fireworks platforms. Oh, they're taking a boat out there. Probably getting it ready for the show in a few hours. Let's look at this. Here are some of the beautiful things for the uh, for the show going on. The Chinese area is beautiful, very detailed. Very recognizable architecture. They have this really pretty walkway with this little creek. They've done an outstanding job building China. One of my favorites is Mexico because they've tried to duplicate a uh, pyramid, a Mayan pyramid.
How are you? This room is incredible. All of the detail. Let's continue on our little walking tour. Just fun to walk around Epcot. It just keeps going. We'll just keep going back in here. Here's a very nice Chinese restaurant. Norway is going to be next. So we're going to turn right and continue the tour. Instantly, the architecture begins changing. There are some famous movies filmed from this kind of a setting. Every single thing is covered in plants or flowers. This is a great restaurant because they tell uh, stories and all the princesses come around. Just walk up here. You have to have a reservation for this restaurant. You can't just show up to it. People reserve that months in advance. When my daughter was young, we went there and had her dress up. And there's Frozen Ever After.
now we are starting to arrive at Mexico. And here we are. So as we get closer, it's harder to see the pyramid. But we are here. And what's deceiving is how much is in. You can see the you can see the, the size of the warehouse behind it that holds the ride. It's an easy ride, very tame, but this is this is Mexico. I think oh we've eaten at this uh, Mexican restaurant quite a few times because if you get it at the right moment, it has the best view of the fireworks show. I think we'll go inside the pyramid. Just go in. There's a huge bazaar in here. Lots and lots of places to shop. This is what's inside the pyramid. And then all the way back there is a ride. We are inside the pyramid in Mexico at Epcot. We're about to get on a ride. So while you're in line for this ride, you can watch people eat in the giant Mexican restaurant. It smells so good in here. Oh, it smells good. That's the restaurant. Yeah, we should eat there. Inside the pyramid.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a like. I hope you enjoyed this tour, just walking around the different nations of Epcot.